afternoon, my name is Chris Jones. Welcome to the Hall of Sports, where we talk stats and we talk facts. I'm not impressed that the Dallas Cowboys beat the Jacksonville Jaguars yesterday. I'm a diehard Cowboy fan, but there's still problems with that offense. And I'm going to tell you why. Yesterday, the Cowboys beat the Jacksonville Jaguars. They held Blake Bortles to only 149 yards. Uh, Dak Prescott threw for 183 yards. Zeke Elliott, 24 carries for 106 yards. Now, this is the problem them that's continuing with the Dallas Cowboy offense. Let's go back two weeks ago when the Dallas Cowboys played the Detroit Lions. Now in that game, you've seen a completely different team. They were in hurry up mode early in that game and it did three things for the Cowboys offense. It allowed Dak Prescott more time in the pocket and the Lions defense wasn't able to anticipate what was going to happen. And third and most importantly, it opened up lanes so Zeke Elliott can get the run game going. The following week, they played the Houston Texans. The defense, of, the, the defense for the Houston Texans was all over Dak Prescott because they went back to the same old thing. Walking up to the line, allowing the defense to anticipate what's going to happen. There was no hurry up mode and they were all, and then, and then the game came down to one big play and the Cowboys ultimately lost that football game. Now here we are this week against the Jacksonville Jaguars. They're back in hurry up mode and basically everything they did against the Lions is happening for the Cowboys against the Jaguars. Jaguars and the Cowboys get the win. Now, the problem is, is that the offense of the Dallas Cowboys is inconsistent. And that comes from the coaching, Jason Garrett and Scott Linehan. Now, I don't know if Scott Linehan currently is suffering from a bipolar disorder or some type of mental illness, but anybody working with Jerry Jones probably is suffering from some type of mental illness. Now, this is what a defense has to do against the Dallas Cowboys. First and foremost, you already know that in any series, Zeke Elliott is going to get the ball two or the three times. So stack up the defensive line. And if you let's go back in history for a minute. In 2016, Dak Prescott averaged only 229 yards passing in each game. Now that was the year 2016 when the Dallas Cowboys went 13 and 3. Now Dak Prescott, he's averaging under 200 passing yards per game this season. Now, if you're a defensive coordinator and you know your opposing quarterback is only going to throw for at most 200 yards and their key running back is going to get the ball two or three times out of every series, that's easy money for a defensive coordinator. Jason Garrett and Scott Linehan need to do one or two things. Scheme up some plays that don't involve Ezekiel Elliott or scheme up some plays where Zeke can get some blockers in front of him. Dallas Cowboys got a tough road ahead of them. Next, they play the Washington Redskins, the Tennessee Titans, the Philadelphia Eagles, the Atlanta Falcons, and the Saints come marching in, and then they play the Washington Redskins one more time. It's going to be a tough road if they don't scheme up some plays to keep that run game going that allows Dak Prescott more time in the pocket.